Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 3 of this SS Admiral Nakimov tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's focal details, uh, like cranes and things, got masts, uh, funnels, and probably the stern details as well. So we've got quite a bit to do, but we'll focus on the front of the ship first, the front two decks here. So the, f the top deck here of the front, and then the next deck down there. Let's we'll sort this one out here first, so we'll go down to the front of the superstructure which is down to here. We will add windows and doors to this wall at some point but not just yet. So what we're going to do from here we're going to add some vents first. So we're going to go to the centre block and go two blocks forward. So one, two. Might as well put a black block to mark the centre and then go out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and build up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and one forward. Same the other side, out seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one forward. And then you can remove the center block, <coughs> and that's the two vents. And then after that, we want two cranes, which will go uh, four blocks out from the vents. So from the vents, go out a further four blocks. So, okay, one, two, three, four, to that point there, and the crane is uh, 19 high. So let's look at the prototype. Yep, so it's 19 high, so two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, like so, and then about th is that three down. Yeah, say about four down from the top. Is it three down? I'll say three down from the top. Build a ring of blocks around the top, like so, like that, and then we add the the arm of the crane. So go back down to the bottom, and then we go to the uh, third block up, so up one, two, three, and then we want to go forward from this block here, forward uh, 11 rows of two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. And before we add the black blocks, we're going to add the crane support cable thing, so we're going to go underneath the overhang, uh, the, the ring around the top, and make sure to add some handrails or iron bars down di diagonally down to the crane arm so I just build these down preferably down I can't get them to go down because they're so f bloody awkward right build them diagonally down like so like that and then add, at the end of the cables add the two black blocks like that for the connections and there we go there's our crane arms done like that and then you can add from the end of the crane you can add some vertical bits as well so down down three or four on the crane like that and there we go so there's our crane done you can add a bit of support around the bottom as well so you can add a cross around the bottom of the crane and there we go so that's that one done so do the same the other side so it was a further four out from the vent so one two three four and up nineteen so two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventeen eighteen nineteen and then third block down, build a ring around the top, like so, and then it was uh, third block up, one, two, three, forward, eleven rows of two, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then for the cables, just under the overhang of the ring, build down diagon diagonally with the handrail, iron bar things, and these things are already starting to drive my patience. Down, like so, and then remove two blocks, they're replaced with black, so, like that, there we go. And, oh, well, of course, the handy haggy down from the crane, one, two, three, like that. Or four, whichever way you want to do, they don't have to be the same, <coughs> preferably vertical. Like that, and then base around the bottom of the crane like so. And there we are. That's that job done there like so. Two cranes, two vents there we are. Right, so now we want to add two, two mechs, which we go back to the front wall of the superstructure, so this wall here again. And for the mechs we build them in black and they go forward three of the superstructure, so one, two, three, and then out three, one, two, three, and then build forward two rows of black like that so same the other side out three one two three two rows like that and then just join them together over the top like that and there we go two mechs like that and they're basically pulley systems for the 
uh, cranes and masts and things. So that's that. And then we're going to go back to the superstructure again. And we're going to add a cargo hatch, which will go 11 blocks forward of the superstructure. So on the wood, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 forward. And build our hatch there. So that's the middle block, and the hatch is 9 wide. So 1, 2, 3, 4 that way. 1, 2, 3, 4 that way. And the sides are 8 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then across the back, or front rather. There we go. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. And then the usual design, center line like so. And then use slabs to cover the side bits up. And there we go, there's our hatch done like so. Right, that's that job done. And then we want to add two more vents which will go to the side of the hatch. So the hatch, how long is the hatch? The hatch is nine long. So the middle block, which is the fifth one along, so middle block on the side of the hatch, we're going to go out three blocks. So one, two, three, like that. Three out to the side like that, and same the other side. Middle block, one, two, three. Put our block there. And these vents are five high, so two, three, four, five, and one forward. And then the same, two, three, four, five, and one forward. And if you can, if you want to, you can make them a little bit curvier. We can add some court stairs to them. So on the back, the fifth block, and turn that into a, a stair block. Like that, to make it look curvier. You can do the same with the ones on the front here as well. Change them so you have a stair block on the back. <coughs> And there you go, so that's the, that makes those a little bit prettier. And then, gonna look at the prototype, make sure I got things right. And then what we're gonna do now is add a mast. Go to the front of the cargo hatch, and we're gonna go to the 12th block forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And put the center block of the mast, and build across around it. So in the middle of the mast, and build across around it like that so it's an X marks the spot basically and then from the front of the mast we're going to build up so they're 20 high so 20 three rows of 20 so that's one already 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 behind that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and same again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 like that Marvellous. Right, so now we need to do the uh, spurs at the top. So go to the, say, fourth or fifth block down from the top. So one, two, three, four, five, and go out three. One, two, three. And a, and a black block. And the same the other side. One, two, <coughs> one, two, three. And then a black block. And then about four or five down from that, go out five. So one, two, three, four, five. And a black block. And one, two, three, four, five, and a black block. There we go. So that's those bits done there. And then what we need to do now, just build the rest of the mast up to the height that it's required. So the back of the mast, just build that straight up. I know this is probably not as accurate as you would like. It's not very bendy or very sleek, uh, sloped back, but who cares? So build that one up like so. And then the sides, just build them up to the first row of 20. So 20 high for the sides. <coughs> like so. And the same on the other side, like so. Like that. Marvellous. So there's our mast done. And then what we need to do then is add the cranes to it. So we go to the front of the mast. And look at it straight on, looking at it at the front. And the ma the arms go to the fourth block up on the, s on the side. So one, two, three, four blocks up. And then one to the side, build a block there and a block there. And the same on the back. So a block there and a block there. So fourth block up, we've got blocks all around like so. And then for the front, you want to build forward, so it's already one block, so build it to two blocks, like that, so it's two blocks like that. And then two again, one, two, one, two. And then you want to build up ten rows of three, so we'll do one side, we'll go up one row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten rows of three like that, and a black block at the end. So there's your first one of those and then you do the same on the other one so it's forward three two and then up ten rows of three like 
that, so they're basically two of the same. Like so, and then a black block at the end, like that. And there we go, there's the forward facing ones, and you do the same on the back of the mask. So, the, so there's actually the same design facing back, so back two, like that, and then two again, like that. And then up ten, so up ten rows of three, rather, so up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that, and then a block, <coughs> and then the same the other side. And there we go, and there's our blocks, mast, crane, thingy, what's it's done like that. Marvellous, beautiful, brilliant, there we go, so that's those bits done like so. Um, and then what we're going to do then is add a few mechs around the, the base of the mast. So there's going to be four of these. So behind the mast we'll build, uh, say about three blocks back, build two, two, and three across like that. So the mech facing that way. They're like benches really, if you look, if you look at them, sort of like a bench. And then to the sides, build out two, two, and three like that. Same on the other side, two, two, and three across like that. And then the same along the front, so two, two, three like that. So there's your your, your mech thing, so they're all spaced out the same, it's kind of like three chairs around a picnic table sort of thing, if you know what I mean. <coughs> so uh, there you go, there's those things done like that. Marvellous, so that's that uh, job done. Now there will be more detail to go on here, like uh, handrails and vents, uh, handrails and lifeboats, but... Uh, I worry about those at another time. Next job I want to do is just add the windows to the front of the uh, superstructure, which I keep me I keep putting off because I'm I'm lazy. So we just put a central window on the front like that, and then we'll put one window, two windows, and then put a door, I suppose, a single door at the end. Damn it, at the end, like so. And then after that, put another window like that if you want to. So there you go. So there's window, window door, window, so I put same again, so I put window, window, and then a door, and then a window, like that, so there we are, so it's five windows on the front wall, a door, and then a window, each side, <coughs> and there you go, that's that job done there, like so, i just go check the prototype really, because I want to know how the front wall of the superstructure goes on the next deck, because there's pillars on that one, so we want... Uh, pillars separated by three, so it's one, two, so there's pillar, pillar, and then a two pillar, and then a three gap, three gap. Okay, let's see if I can remember that. Let's see if I can remember it. If, I'm, if I fuck this up, then, uh, well, I fucked it up, so there we go. Apologies for swearing as well, I know this is a, well, it's not really a kids oriented channel, so I can say what the hell I want, but there we go. Anyway, so the central wall on the middle deck, we'll put a pillar there like that. And then we'll put a pillar each side, pillar each side, so a pillar there, pillar there, and a pillar there like that. So three pillars like that. And then the next pillar we want is another three block gap, and then we put a three pillar like that, which is two blocks wide. So do the same the other side. <laughs> there, like that. So you've got these three, you've got these pillars like that. So it's probably not the easier to follow, but I'm trying my best. And then we want another one, two, three gap, and then a pillar. And then another three gap, one, two, three, and then a two pillar like that. So it's basically a three three spacer like that. It's a bit difficult to follow, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I do the same on the other side. So from that two pillar there, three block gap, one, two, three, and then a pillar, and then another one, two, three, and then a pillar, and then a s fill the space in like that. And it don't look too bad. It's not brilliant, not perfect, but you know. God damn it, keep crashing into things. Like I say, it's not too bad, not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do, because, you know. <coughs> Alright, now, what we're going to do now, just add some windows to this front wall. If I can get in there. And it's the same sort of thing we did on the rest of the front wall. We'll just add a central window, and then one window, two windows, um, and then three windows, if you like. And then four windows. Like that, so four windows out to the side, so do the same on the other side, so we do one window, two windows, three windows, and then a fourth window. And it's not brilliant, not perfect, it's not going to be accurate to anything, it's just my random way of laying things out, but if you want to do things accurately, I'm sure there are some deck plans out there with the proper layouts of everything, so 
go ahead and see what you can find because I am just going with what I well what I don't know if you know what I mean anyway so that's that job done there that's that deck done there like that like I said there will be more detail going on at some other time but we'll worry about that another day right so what I'm going to do now should I do a jump cut I want to work out what to do next and then we shall move on so uh, back in a moment okay right back again so what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck down which is the folks all down here now what we're going to do before we start building anything we're going to go down underneath the overhang here on the front and we shall start adding some doors and windows so i put some single windows like so just a single window like that and put these every two blocks apart so i put i think we put three out so i put one two and then three out and then we'll put a pair of doors like so and then put another window there like that so there you go just go three out to the side one two three windows a pair of doors and then another window like that <clears throat> and there we go there's our front wall underneath there done and the next job we want to do now is to build a cargo hatch so we're going to start doing all the detail here so go from the front wall again center block and for the cargo hatch we go nine blocks forward from the center so one two three four five six seven eight nine and we put our hatch there so the hatch is nine wide so that's four either side one two three four that way one two three four that way and the sides are six so six forward one two three four five six so you can see it goes up a level as well do the same the other side one two three four five six and then across the front like so and then build the back back half of the hatch to two blocks high so it's the same height as the rest like so and then we add the detailing on the top so I add the spine for the cover and then the hatches over the top or the slabs over the top and there we go there's hatch number one done <clears throat> right after that we want to go f uh, two blocks forward of the hatch so go one two blocks forward and then we're going to build a mech which is five rows of two i think or is it four it's four rows of two so go f two blocks forward and then one block out from the center and put a row of two there same the other side two blocks forward and one out like that so you got two like that and then another row each side like that so you've got four rows of two blocks like that and then join them together over the top like that so it's it's one of those sort of things if you know what i mean four rows of two covered with a row of uh, seven i think so i've got six three four five six yeah seven wide like that and then we we'll go to the cranes which we want to go from the very front of the of the mech so the front so if you look at the side on like say the mech the mech the front of the mech like that mech 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 um we want to go two blocks out from the mech so go out one two to there which is where our cranes are going to go so is it two blocks out yeah second block out so put a block there and a block there for our, where our cranes will go and these cranes are 20 high so that's one already two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and then like with the uh, cranes on the bow of the ship or on the upper deck we go down about four blocks one two three four and then put a ring around the top like so and then on the prototype i've got a cross on the top as well so it's, it's optional if you want to do this so <clears throat> there's the cross there and then we go down to the bottom of the mast uh, down to the bottom of the crane again and we're going to build the arm which is on the third block up so one two third block up to there and forward and back so on the front of the crane and on the back of the crane we're going to build five rows of four so one two three four one two three four one two three four that's three one two three four one two three four so it's four rows of f uh, five rows of four like that plus a block on the end why not and it should look something like that not too bad and then do the same on the back so for five rows of four one two three 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 four and a block like that and there's one crane done so what we're doing now get our handrails or our iron bars and go underneath the cross at the top and just build like we did on the other cranes at the back there we just build diagonally down 
with the iron bars and not get too stressed about it because they are a pain in the proverbial to do. But this is how we work it. This is where well that it comes in handy as well. But there we go. There's the, the handrails done there. And then we'll just add the black blocks underneath the connector like that. <coughs> and there we go. That's one side. Just do the one on the front as well. And I think I'll just copy and paste this to the other side. Because like I said, there's one each side. We've already laid the foundation of where the next one goes. So we know where that is all done. Damn it. <coughs> These things are starting to annoy me now. And there we go, so there's the, blo the blocks, uh, the handrails, and then the blocks underneath. And there we go, there's our crane done. And it don't look too bad. Marvellous. So like I was saying, you do the same thing on the other side. So what I'll do, I shall do a, a copy-paste of this, just so I don't uh, screw this up. So I'll copy and paste it. So I'll do a copy to the mast on the back here. So, like I say, I shall copy-paste it, so you can see one side is already there. I shall just quickly copy flip to the right and then paste it and there we go there's the other one done I didn't want to build all that again because it's a pain in the bum but there's both of those cranes in place and uh, not looking too bad so what we'll do now we shall go back down to the deck uh, back down to the deck and back to the mech because we're going to add another hatch so go to the mech and from the mech we're going to go 10 blocks forward so from the center go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we build another hatch. This hatch is seven wide, so it's three each side, and the sides are six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and across the front, and then the central spine as before, and then the slabs all around. Like so. I pretty much finished that Normandy over there. It's very really distracting seeing a very incomplete ship over there. Anyway, that's the hatch done that they are. And then we want to add a breakwater. I'm just going to look at the prototype a second make sure I've got the hatch in the right place. It looks okay. <clears throat> so what we'll do now, we'll go to the back of the hatch and we're going to go to the breakwater, which is six blocks forward of the hatch. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the center there we've got our break water which is seven wide so that's one plus three that way three that way and it's two blocks high like that and then we want diagonal blocks out to the side so every other every block diagonal out to the side like like so and then the first three blocks are two blocks high one two three the next three well the next well it doesn't really matter actually they slope down doesn't it so I'm going to leave them like that. So I just do the same the other side then. So the first three are two blocks high. And then the rest are a single block high because they slope down anyway. And there we go. There's our break water. And there should be two small vents each side of the of the hatch. So we'll go back to the hatch. And if we go... I'm trying to work it out actually. Vents each side of hatch. So look at the prototype. Ah, it's from the front of the hatch. So go from the front of the hatch here, uh, and then go out four. No, go out. How far out is it? Oh, out three. So one, two, three out, and then go up one, two, three, four like that with the hat uh, with the vent, and one forward. So it's right on the right on the lip of the uh, of the upper bit. So do the same the other side. One, two, three out. One, two, three, four up, and one forward like that. And if you want to, you can change the back of the vent to a curvy bit with the stairs like that. And do the same with the other one. And these bloody things are in the way. Yeah. There we go. So there's our vents done like so. And then after that, we want to go back to the front of the breakwater. So I'll just take a break for a minute and read, read my notes. <coughs> we go, yeah, go to the front of the breakwater now and go four blocks forward. So from the center, go one, two, three, four forward. And this, ha uh, this mech is five wide, so one in the middle, and then two each side like that, or one each side, and it's five wide, and then just join that together across the top, and 
Oh, don't look too bad. So that's that bit done like that. And then two blocks forward of the mech go one, actually three blocks forward, so one, two, three, and then two out, one, two. There's two more vents, so one, two, three, four up, that's one forward. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, and one forward like that. And then, if you want to, put the stairs on the back, like so. And there we go, that's most of the detail done on the, on the foc'sle. Uh, next thing to do is just get our bollards, which are uh, anvils. So we'll get those, and I think we want, just trying to think, I think three pairs on this area? Not sure. But we'll put a pair just to the side of the first mech here on the, on the bow. So we'll put a pair just there like that. And then go back just behind the breakwater. Or just there, you can see. I'm just putting these at random, really. As long as they're in a, in a corner of the grooving, put them in. So the pair there next to the mech. A pair just to the behind the first hatch. And then the last pair will be to the rear of the, of the second hatch. So I'll put another pair of anvils there. And preferably, I think what we'll do is take those out a second, take the, f the front anvil out, get rid of that, and replace it behind it. And then we'll put a block in that space there like that. There we go. So this is something that I'm just going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the front anvil and put it behind it and replace it with a block. And then do the same with the other one. So put an anvil behind and replace the one in front with a block. And the reason I'm doing that is we can get our slabs, get our quartz slabs and put them like that so you have a little slit for the cable to go through and attach to the anvils. Quite a neat little design thing that is. Just do the same with the ones for the back. So you can see, attach the cable there. And then the last one, just there. And that looks pretty neat. I quite like that. That's good, quite good. So I do the same on the other side, get these out of the way. So I want our first anvil just there and a block there and replace the top blocks with the, oh, with the slabs like that and then the next pair uh, just further back so put a block first and then two anvils and then replace with slabs so those are in right place yep and then the last pair just behind uh, to the to the rear of the last hatch there so block anvil anvil and then slab slab like so and there we go that looks quite neat <clears throat> so there we are, there's that job done there. And uh, yeah, I don't look too bad. So what I shall do now, I should do a jump cut while I work out what I'm doing next, and then we shall move on. Um, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the ship's funnels, of which there are two, of course. So we're going to go down to the front of the ship's wheelhouse on the top, just here, and we're going to centre block, and we're going to go on the wood to the 19th block back. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And that's where we want to put our first funnel. So funnel number one is three wide at the front, like that, and then two out, two out, like so. Same the other side, two out, two out. And Bree just left the game. Um, and then two back, one, two, three back, one, two, three, and then three again inwards, so or slightly in by one so one two three and then two two like that same the other side back two back three back three two two and one in the middle like that and there's the base of funnel number one and then for funnel number two you're going to count back to 32 blocks back so i should use the measuring tool so send a block there and go back to block 32 that's 10 20 30 31 and 32 there so it's block 32 where funnel number two will go so three wide plus two two out two two out plus two back two back three three two two three three two two and one in the middle and there we go there's funnel number two placement so they're both the same design so we'll just focus on the one for now so go back to funnel number one or funnel number two, whichever one you want to do. And the design we want, we should do the white part first. So go from the center of the funnel, which is here. <coughs> and we shall build up in white six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven behind that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and a black block up at the top why not so there we go. that's the design that we want so we want to use that same design all the way around um, for the for the red part we'll do that afterwards so we'll just do that same design like I just showed you and I'll mark the, the, the parts out so we're going to put those same design on the blocks shown so put the same design of 676 six, and the black block on that there there on there and there so on those th four blocks there and then around the back one two three four and across the back like so so do that same design on all those blocks shown so I shall do the first few freehand like so and then the next one why not and the next one as well and then the next line along one two three four five six one two three four five six seven one two three four five six and a black block on top so that's the front half done, I'll do the back half as well, so same design again. And then around the back as well, like I said, i just do the one side. And then we shall fill it all in, so it's the same all the way around basically. This will be adjusted at the top though, because there will be a slant, so we'll sort that out. So just that same design like I keep showing you. Six seven six and a black block, and then the center block here as well. So, once I've done this set, this last section, then, then the rest of it on the other side could just be copied. Um, and there we go. So, that's one half of the funnel done, and uh, it should look something like that. So, what we'll do now, just go on the inside, and then we'll fill in the gaps. which there aren't many, which is pretty good. And then the black block as well. And there we go, so that's one side of the funnel done. And then for the slant of the funnel, this is where things get a bit tricky. So what we're going to do, if we look at the funnel side on, and what we're going to do, so, that's, so if you count this as block number one, so looking at it side on, we're going to go to the, f we're going to leave five, so count five, one, two, three, four, five, and then go for the sixth block and remove one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then replace the white blocks underneath with black, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then the center block as well on the back, so it's the same, so leave the first five and cut the next six so it should look something like that you have a slant at the top like that not brilliant not perfect but it's a thing and that's uh, one side done so what I shall do now I shall quickly copy this to the other side just to get it out of the way so just want to get this little job out of the way so I shall uh, copy flip to the right and then paste <clears throat> there we go, that's both sides of the funnel done so far. Let's see, it's not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. And then for the for the top of the funnel, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cover the whole thing up. So the first so if we, so we've got this last block here of the of the top part of the funnel. So if we join them together across the top like so, and then fill in the gap to the front of it. Like that. And then the next part down is one block down, so we're just filling the rest of it there. So it covers the whole funnel up like so, and there we are, there's our funnel almost done. And then from the top of the funnel, go to the front again and go uh, one block back, so this block here, and we're going to build three wide, and then five wide, one, two, three, four, five, and then five wide again, one, two, three, four, five. Um, five wide again, why not? Like that. And then behind that down one, go five wide again. And then five wide again. And then three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and one, like that. So you've got a sort of a, a cap on the top like that. And uh, I think that will do. It's not brilliant, but not, not bad. But we can adjust it actually. So the front part, which is three wide, we can reduce that to one. And then behind that, the first row of five, reduce that to three. Just so it, makes, it gives it a bit more of a 
a symmetrical design, so it looks a bit looks a bit better actually that way. So instead of being three wide at the front, reduce it to one. The next row of five, reduce that to three, and then leave the next few rows. You can fiddle around with this if you want to, because <coughs> it's uh, it's your design really. It's, it's what's your ship. You can do what you like with it. So that's that bit done there. Right now for the red stripe, we're going to go on. If we look at it side on again, so looking at the front side on, we're going to go to the uh, trying to work it down. So it's the fourth block down. So we go one, two, three, four, and replace it with a red block. And it's going to be the same as the top. So you're just going to re replace the first five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then go down one and replace the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then that's going to be uh, five high. So go down. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. So it's be five high in total. So go down another four below that. So one, two, three, four down, and do the same again. So replace one, two, three, four, five, and then down one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. There's our funnel all fill, or the, the the stripe of the funnel laid out. So everything between the top stripe and the bottom stripe. Or other way around, top stripe, bottom stripe, all this area in there can be replaced with the red now. And I'm using red terracotta for it, so. It's uh, not not the brightest of colours, but it's, it's alright. There's the stripe done on one side. I, what I'll do, I'll quickly just do the middle line as well, so it's all symmetrical. And the same on the front as well. There we go. There's the stripe done. So like I say, I'll do the same on the other side in a minute, and then that's the design that you're going for. And then you've got the Soviet axe, basically, which is the, the golden axe sort of thing. Um... I kind of screwed this up when I designed it, so I was going to go with what I have. So I'm going to get yellow terracotta for this one. And what we should do, look at the prototype section, and I think what we'll do, we'll go on the side panel here with just a three wide. Go where the, where the red changes direct, where it changes height. So you've got one red block there and two red blocks below that. So this is where we're going to build. So we're going to start building our yellow thing on those two blocks there like that. So two yellow like that. And then above that to the back build two more yellow like that and then one yellow on the end like so so basically you've got that design so it's two two one in yellow and then from this middle row of two here we're going to build diagonally up the other way two blocks like so so you've got that sort of design it's it looks better when it's flat because it's got shadows of the funnel design it looks a bit odd but it's two at the bottom two up and then one at the end and then opposite that go one one like that and that's the design that you're after really <clears throat> like I say it's not brilliant it's not perfect but it's something um, yeah it's, 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 it's kind of the best I can do but uh, what I shall do now I shall quickly just copy that to the other side because well I'm lazy so I just go copy flip and then paste and that should be both sides done it doesn't matter if the the axe is facing the other direction because that's what I've done on the prototype they're facing different directions on both sides so it's just one of those things and on the prototype I used a darker red as well or a brighter red but I'm just using the red terracotta on this one you can change the red if you want to it's up to you what you want to do but that's that's funnel number one almost done the last job for the funnel is just to add the ladder and the whistle to the front so if we go up uh, on the front with the ladder, go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, and then we get our ladder on the front, like so. Actually, the bottom block we probably want to remove because there will be a base going around. So we we'll re remove the bottom block, get rid of that, and just replace, uh, build the ladder up to where we said. So it's seven, what six, seven. Oh, doesn't really matter actually, isn't it? Six, six, one. And then at the top, I used 
cobblestone wall because I'm restricted on resources to put a whistle just there and that's it that's that's the funnel done if you like so that's what I'm going to do for the funnel I can say that's job done for that one and then what I'm going to do now I should do a jump cut while I should do the funnel at the back so both funnels will be the same and then we can call it done with that bit so I shall uh, do a jump cut now and return in just a mo. so back in a moment Okay, back again. So there's both funnels in place, and they should, in theory, look something like that. Uh, like I say, they're both the same design. The only thing that lets them down is my inability to explain how to build them. But anyway, there they are in place, and don't look too bad, do they? Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do, or they will do. Um, so what we're going to do now is to build the details between the funnels. So there'll be a base around the funnels and skylights and things around them. So what we'll do, we'll go to funnel number one. And what we're going to do, we shall build a base around the first funnel, which is court slabs, basically. Um, and we want to go about underneath, or from the front of the funnel, go about three forward, or two forward like that. So two forward, and it's going to be 11 wide, so one, two, three, four, five that way. One, two, three, four, five that way. And the sides are 13, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like that, do the same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and across the, across the back, like so. And just fill it all in with white, like so. And it's the same round funnel number 2 as well, but we'll sort that one out in a bit. So there we are, there's our funnels done, um, our base done. Around the front of the funnel, what we're going to do, go from the centre of the front of the funnel, so, well, the front of the funnel here, in front of the, the base, just in front of that, we're going to build a vent, which is six blocks high, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and one forward, and as per usual, if you want to do that fancy design with the, the court stairs, you can, so you remove the top block and replace it with stairs, like that. And then you want to build another two, either or one either side, so go out, one, two, three, four out four and back two one two into that block there and the, on the uh, s that slab of the base so out was out one two three four back one uh on the front of the base and then the same design one two three four five plus the stairs and one forward like that same the other side in this corner here one two three four five plus the stairs and one forward like that so there's your three vents on the front like that and then there's going to be another two vents on the back. So go to the back corner of the vent, uh, of the, see the vent, the back corner of the base, and to this block here. So go, so as it's one, from the back corner, go in one to that block there and build the uh, build the vent from there. So one, two, three, four, five stair blocks, and then one forward, like that, and then same the other side. So one in from the end. Go okay, one, two, three, four, five stair blocks and one forward like that. And there's your vents. So there's five vents, three on the front, two on the back. <coughs> and it should look something like that. And then what we're going to do then is go behind the funnel and we're going to build a skylight. So from the, from the back of the funnel, we're going to go to the sixth block back. So here's the first block behind the funnel one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to build a skylight, which is sort of like a, a like a barbecue grill sort of thing. So it's six back and this one is nine wide, so that's four either side. One, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And the sides are fourteen, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and across the back. Like so, and then double that in height all the way around, so it's two blocks high. All the way around. Like that. And then add a central spine. Like so. And then add ribs. Like so. So like I say, it's like a, a rib cage or a barbecue grill sort of thing. Nothing special, but it's a thing. And if you want to, you can put glass in these gaps as well, but I'm just going to leave them bare for now.
And there we go, there's our skylight done there. There should be three on this deck as well, or, or on this top top deck. Um, anyway, that's that one done. So what we're going to do now is work out... Uh, work out the next thing. So the next thing we want to do is add the base to follow number two. So it's two blocks forward again. And out, one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, and the sides are thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And yeah, it's the same all the way around, basically. Do 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 There we go, there's our base there. So that's the same as the first funnel. And then we want three and three more vents. It's the same vents actually, it's the same vents all the way around. So from the front of the vent of, of the funnel, build the first vent. So one forward of that, one, two, three, four, five up, plus the stairs, and one block forward. And then one, two, three, four out, and two back into the corner of the base, do the same again. So five up, one block of stairs, and one forward. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Oop! Stair. Stairs for that way, and then a block. Like that. So three vents on the front, <coughs> and then two on the back. So one, two, three, four, five. Plus your stairs, and one forward. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Stairs, and one forward. There you go. There's your five vents on funnel number two. So now we go behind funnel 2 now for the next skylight, which is 8 blocks back, or is it 9 blocks, make it, yeah, make it 9 blocks back, so just have a scratch a second, so 8, uh, 9 blocks back from the funnel, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, is our next skylight, which is 9 wide, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 that way, 1, 2, 3, 4 that way, and the sides are 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That side and across the back. And then we have all the things around. The double the height. And then the same vent, uh, same rib cage design as we did on the front it's skylight there we go and it don't look too bad do it? not brilliant not perfect but it will do and then what we're going to do now is to add three more vents these are big vents as well so we're going to go from the center of the skylight on the back and we're going to go uh, three blocks back so one two three and we we'll put our cross there. So that's the centre of your cross. These are big vents. So I put a cross, build the centre block, and then build a cross around it. So that's our first vent, and that's four high. So two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then two in the middle, and then your stairs all the way around, and then your two forwards on the front, and then the sunflower design all the way around. And there we go. There's our first vent. And then from that vent, we're going to go back five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then out four. One, two, three, four, and build our next cross. So center of the cross plus the cross all the way around, and then the same again. Four out to the side. So five back, four out. One, two, three, four, and then build the cross like so. And then you do that same design. So two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four, plus the two, and then the sunflower design. All the way around, like so. So there's one there, and then the other one. Two, 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 one. There we go. So then the same sun, oops, sunflower thingy majiggy one all the way around like so marvellous so there's our three vents done there and then we're going to have another skylight 
which will go from the go from the centre vent to so the front vent here in the middle. Go nine behind that. So from the centre, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back, and then build our skylight, which is only a small one, so it's seven wide. So centre block plus three each side, and the sides are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and across the back. Two blocks high, all the way around. Like that, and then the central block, central spine, and then the, the ribs, like so. And there we go, there's our skylight done there. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. That's pretty much all the detail done there. Um, there is one more small deck house to go on the back, which actually attaches to the current deck house. So I'm just going to look at the prototype on that one, and I'm going to try and wing this one. So we want to go to the eighth block in and then build back seven. So eight in, back seven. So I shall, I shall build this somehow. So go from the back corners of the, of the said deck house. So there's all the detail up there. Go back down here. Go to the seventh block in from the corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was it out in seven, out back eight? Wasn't it? So we go in seven, then go back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side. So in seven, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. May have got this completely wrong, but you know, too late now. And then join it together across the back. And then build at the same height as the rest of the deck house. So four high all the way around. So there's our deck house all done like that. And then a roof, which will be an overhang. So we'll go from the uh, top of the deck house. So go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in from this block here. And then we're going to build around the outside of the deck house. So build it around, overlapping or overhanging the outside. Or overhanging by one block all the way around. Like so. So it hangs down like that. Or hangs around, so you've got an overhang like so, and then just fill this whole area in with the with the roof, which is all going to be white. So this is me doing this sort of freehand and not really knowing what I'm doing because I've not written anything down to do with this, like so. There we are, and then we go from the back corner, go in one, and we'll add a square which is going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wide, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then across the, the back or the front, whichever, and then fill all that in. And then the last centre piece, which will go, I'm trying to look at the prototype again. So we go in one, two, actually go from the centre, centre there, and look at the prototype, and then build that the same same length as the current roof piece. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then make that, th <laughs> I'm really not doing this very well. Uh, make it five wide, I think. So two each side. I really need to rehearse this better. I think that'll do. I'm not going to do this any better, am I? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to look at the prototype because I think I'm pretty much bollocks this up. So I think it's safe to say I have screwed up the bottom piece. So the top piece is meant to be three, the bottom piece is meant to be seven. Oh well, we'll get in there. We'll just add two vents either side and then we'll just call it done then. <coughs> I think what we'll do is to add those two vent pieces, go from the middle, or we'll go from the, the very back end and this corner here, this block, this corner block here, go one, two, three, four forward, and then build two up, two up like that, and then stair blocks facing outwards, and then two blocks like that, 
take out two uh, events or a thing like that. Do the same the other side. One, two, three, four forward. Two, two. Plus your stairs facing out, and then two like that. <laughs> not brilliant, not perfect, and actually it's bloody terrible. But uh, if you can do that, then by all means. If not, forget it. And then last job, we can just add a pair of doors and windows all the way around. So a pair of doors, and then a window, a window, a window, and then another window there. Why not? Do the same the other side. Door, door. Window, window. Window and window, and replace the damage. And then a, f a few windows across the back. So, a window there, a window there, and two more windows. Sort of like that. I mean, like I said, it's not anything brilliant, perfect, or whatever. It's just that. It's literally kind of made up as I went along. But it's, it's the dimensions are not quite right, but the design is there, if you know what I mean. You can tidy this thing up. Um, but it's up to you what you want to do with that. And we'll uh, leave it at that. <laughs> so what I shall do now, I shall do another jump cut while I work out what I'm doing next. And then we shall move on. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the ship's staircases on the back of the superstructure. So go from the top deck down to the middle deck. That's what they're going to do. So we need our wood stairs first, which are wherever they are. Uh, there they are, wood, wood, oak, oak stars. Right, so what we're going to do, go to the centre of the top deck at the back here. And remove the centre block. And with wood blocks, which I've not got. There. We shall build back one two three like that and then put a center block behind that so remove the center block put three wood blocks and one center there and then build the wood piece five wide so build it uh, so take out two more each side and build it to that side and then take out two and replace with wood that side so it's five long like that or five wide and then put two white blocks either side of the center so you've got a little platform sticking out the back which is five wide and then from the top, uh, from the wood there, you're going to build the stairs going down sideways down to this point here. So let's build these down. So stairs, blocks, stairs, block, blocks, and then stairs, and then stairs again on the bottom there. So you can see it goes from that down there down onto the, or it goes from the top down onto the white uh, white pl pl platform below. Or the edge of the platform. So you put the banisters, uh, put the supports underneath, and then the banisters two up, two up, two up, one. Same the other side. Uh, two up, two up, one, like that. And there you go, you get your stairs going up there. And you do the same on the other side. So it's stairs, and then blocks, and then stairs, and blocks, and then stairs, and stairs, like that. And then put your blocks underneath again. And then the banisters. Two up, two up, two up, one. On the inside, two up, two up, and one like that. <clears throat> there you go, there's your staircases going down on the back. Now it's kind of a weird design, you can see. You've got the, the little bits that we built uh, in part two, I think. And you've got this open space in the bottom here, which looks pretty cool, actually. I think I that looks pretty neat. Um, so that's uh, that job there, and I think there's two more staircases to go on as well. I'm just going to check the prototype, and yeah, there are. There are two more staircases, and they will go, I think, about three blocks in. So if we go back to where we were, <coughs> and go from the from the sides, and we'll go third block in. So count this block here as one. So one, two, three, and then remove two blocks like that, and then build the stairs going down two blocks wide down to the deck below so we're catering for all staircases in the area like that so there's your stairs there um, you may want actually you may want to move it one block further back so rem remove one side so this is my mistake again apologies for that so I remove one side and put it the other side so put the stairs that side so put the blocks first block 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 and then stairs, 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 stairs. So what was it? It's one, two, three, fourth block in. So yeah, so that's my mistake. So banisters, two up, two up, two up. 
two up, two up, two up. And there we go, there's that stair down there. Do the same on the other side, do this properly this time. So one, two, three, fourth block in, remove two, and then stairs going down. So yeah, my mistake. I wasn't looking at the bloody prototype properly. I'm not I'm not doing too well at the moment, my mind's still not in the right place. And there we go, there's our stairs and then the banisters. Two up, two up, two up. And two up, two up, two up. And there we go. There's our uh, stairs done there. And then we can add some handrails then. So from the back of the, the back wall here with the pillars on, from there, just add handrails back and then put a block at the top of the stairs each side so the handrails attached to those. And then add the handrails around to the stairs there. And then do the same on the other side. So put blocks at the top of the stairs there and there. And then handrails across like that. And then between the two stairs in the bottom, add handrails again. And there we go. That's that job done there. Marvellous. So that's that sorted out. And that's what I'm going to do for today. So what we shall do in part... This is part three, isn't it? Or is it part four? I think it's part three. So anyway, so the next part, whichever that, whichever part that'll be, we shall might be able to get the ship finished. So we've got the stern details, rudder propellers, uh, so the masts, rudder details, propellers, deckhouse cranes and things, lifeboats, and the green stripes. So it might, might, might be able to get the ship done in part four. So looking forward to see how that goes oh there's also a little bit of a, a corridor to add as well on the front of the superstructure so that's another detail to add but we'll see how things go when we get to it so hopefully next part which whatever whichever part it is will be the will be the last part but we'll wait and see how this how things turn out um but we'll see from there so this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return in part four very soon i think it's part four but we'll see so uh, Bye for now.